Hey everybody. So uh, this week is the first, uh, has been my first experience of kind of being over uh, this whole season. Uh, it's been a really sweet season for me. And then I found myself at the beginning of this week feeling kind of restless and anxious. And, um, and I, I uh, the, the idea that came to me was uh, Lee and I not too long ago went to the House of Cards and uh, saw these guys doing sleight of hand tricks and they would ask people for their cell phones and use them in the trick and then give them back. And I think uh, I and a lot of us are thinking about Jesus as some kind of uh, sleight of hand magician during this season. And um, he's saying, hey, give me your idols. I wanna do a, a trick. And, uh, and so we, we give these things up and these things are taken from us during this uh, stay at home season. And, uh, and then we think, oh, this has been a cool experience. Uh, I've learned some things. I've got some time to slow down and simplify. Um, and then it's like, okay, now the trick's over and I want my phone back. Uh, this has been really cool, but give me back all these things that I uh, wanted and needed to make things work. And, uh, and so there's a way in which we can really be in this time and think that we're giving Jesus more of ourselves than we are and think that we're on board with where he's going and following him there and allowing him to transform us when we're really not as much as we think we are. And so um, that's my encouragement to us this week is that if, if you're in a place where you're hitting the hump, some of y'all hit the hump on like day two and this whole thing has been really hard. But for those of you who have who have found the gifts and the blessings in this season, uh, you may be entering into a, a phase now where you're over it and everything in you is wanting to go back to the way things were. And uh, my invitation, I believe it's the Lord's invitation to us in this season is to this week is to keep going, um, that he will have us in this season for as long as he wants to have us in this season to do his good work in us. And, um, the, this picture that, that keeps coming back to me is, is that our, our existence, our lives, maybe even our homes or apartments right now, um, they're not a prison. They're like a, uh, like a monastery or a dojo or a dojo monastery, if you will, sort of like Batman Begins. Um, but it's, it's just this place where Jesus is doing very deep, very good work in us. Um, if we will let him. And, and for, the, for those of us who feel like every day is the same and it's the monotony, um, it's like going before our master in a very simple place with no frills and him saying, again, again, do it again, do it again, do it again. There's more in here for you. Um, I'm having you do these same things. I'm having these days look similar. I'm having this repetition because you need this repetition. You need to, to learn how to approach me, learn how to approach your days, learn how to approach your circumstances differently. And so if you'll just trust me, um, I'm doing a very, very good work in you here. Um, so again, it's, it's easy to think that I'm really letting Jesus in when I'm actually just holding on and gritting my teeth and, and holding on for dear life, waiting for the wave to pass. And then when the wave passes, I go right back to living the exact same way that I lived before. And, um, and that's not letting Jesus be Lord. That's not um, real transformation. That's not real change. And, um, and he loves us too much to leave us the same. He loves us too much to allow us to believe that we're letting him in when we're not. And so uh, I wanna read, read a couple of verses to us uh, from 2 Corinthians 4, and this is 16 through 18. It says, so we do not lose heart Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this light momentary affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As we look not to the things that are seen, but to the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are transient, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Um, Jesus is still working good in us. He's still coming to give us a good gift. And so, um, if, if you find yourself in a place like I did where I, I just felt restless and anxious, uh, what I realized was that that was happening because I was turning the volume up again. I was listening to more podcasts, watching more shows, reading more books, um, filling all the dead air um, and finding all sorts of creative ways and reasons not to go and just sit at Jesus' feet and 
and let him give himself to me and let him teach me and lead me and and change me and so that's my prayer for us this week is that um we would come to jesus with all those things that we discover that we are doing instead of him and lay those things at his feet and ask him to continue to do the good work and ask him to allow us to see him in this work as good um, in our lives and so uh the songs that i want to give us this week are uh two of my very favorites i think these are two of the most beautiful songs um heroes it's the david bowie song but it's the uh the re the redo by Peter Gabriel that was featured in the Stranger Things soundtrack and uh, also God Moving Over the Face of Waters by Moby. Um, both of these songs I think are very beautiful, but there's a, a, a melancholy undercurrent to the songs. Um, and, I, and to me, that symbolizes what we're talking about here, that, that this work is, uh, is going to be painful, uh, but it is beautiful and it's good. And uh, the Lord loves us very much. And so um, I, I pray that that's encouraging to you and to us and that, um, that we would remember that he is forming us and reforming us um, for his good purposes. And uh, so continue to uh, check out the podcast. Uh, this week we had Nick Pilkington in there. Um, this coming week we're going to have another special guest. So um continue to engage there and uh and pray with us on thursday mornings um by the time you see this it's going to be tomorrow morning at 8 a.m and so uh jump in there with us jump into your small groups and continue continue to build relationships with these people that god's put in your life for this season um love you miss meeting with you but i look forward to, to talking with you soon thanks